All right, let's get this set up and let's get this show on the road. First off, turn down the volume in the screen so I don't hear myself echo, 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 echo. All right, going to play some Binding of Isaac. Uh, haven't hit the 900 mark, actually the 999 mark yet for uh, cash. So I'm going to try to build that up a little bit. So uh, let's see, I think I will play with Eden. Here we go. Big hello to anyone out there today. Ooh, satanic Bible will start things off in the tick. So because we have the tick, won't be picking up any other trinkets in this run. Once you have the tick, you are stuck with it. The good thing about the tick, though, is that it sucks HP from uh, larger bosses, so you don't have to shoot them so much with your tears. And is that all we have? Yeah, we have the Satanic Bible and the Tick, so we are rolling with this. Starting off on the cellar, would rather have the basement, because spiders on the cellar suck. But uh, you gotta live with what you got. Like I said, uh, this stream mostly about uh, trying to farm up to uh, 999 cents, so we can get the stopwatch. And uh, once we get the stopwatch, we start looking at doing some lost run. Still haven't unlocked the uh, lost yet. Uh, have the instructions for it, but uh, seeing how as everyone kind of recommends that you have the stopwatch before you try to do something with the lost, I'm going to wait till then. I'm not the greatest player as well, so I don't want to uh, kind of waste my time with the lost doing runs that don't get me anywhere. Okay, that was a waste of a bomb trying to find the secret room. Who are we fighting? We are fighting the hunt. The hunt can be a pain in the arse, but uh, you gotta do your best with it. As you can see from the tick, the hunt's health has already been reduced by a bit, so we won't have to shoot him quite as much as you would uh, normally have to. That is the good thing about the tick. Of course, the bad thing about the tick is that you can't get rid of it. So if I find something that I would rather have, say Lucky Rock, which came up a few rooms earlier, I can't switch it in. So if you're going to pick up the tick while playing the actual game, how come he is not coming over here? I kind of bugged him out, which is great. He usually comes over and hits you a little bit. Range up. I will live with that, I guess. Down to the next floor, which is a basement floor. Gotta love the basement floor. It's not as tough as the cellar. Kill these flies. Come on. There we go. Get some more health. And we have the virus. The virus. Poison touch. I'd rather have something that didn't require me to get touched. Unless I get something like a uh, unicorn stump. And... Unicorn Stump and Midas Touch or Turdy Touch, kind of the two game winners. I had that with Nod Leaf once, and I just kind of stood there and won the game. It's pretty awesome. Pick up the key and head into the next room. Won't be doing too much with him because we can't fly. What's in here? Uh, it's either the Bible or Revelations. Like I said, I'm trying to farm up money. Let's try to get to 999 so I can get to play as the lost and actually have a chance to do something with it. Silly damage there, but we will roll with it. What is this? Destruction. Swallow Penny can't take it because of the tick. Pretty great floor. Nothing too difficult to kill. No spiders, which is the main thing. How's everyone doing today? If anyone is actually watching, hopefully you're doing great. I'm having a pretty good day, and I hope you are too. Work was pretty good today. Let's see if we can uh, get one of these pills by using that. No, that didn't work out for us. So uh, I've been playing Binding the Isaac for, I don't know, a couple years. Not great at it. I don't play it that often to... Uh, to be an expert at it. If you want to see someone who's kind of good at it, kind of consistent, 
Uh, watch Northern Lion on YouTube. That guy knows what he's doing. He's been playing The Binding of Isaac since uh, Vanilla back in like uh, 2011, 2012. And he knows what he's doing, and he's got a pretty great voice, and he's also Canadian like I am, which is uh, a bonus in my books. Gotta love Canadians. Now, if you hear kind of a humming in the background, that is my poor computer fan. Uh, or at least lack of computer fan. I'm running on a laptop right now. It's not the greatest laptop in the world. And uh, it is kind of on its last leg. So I'm kind of doing this just for fun. Not a really professional thing. I'm not looking to become a professional streamer or anything like that. Just here to have some fun, play some Binding of Isaac, and hopefully kill Mom. Go on to kill It Lives, and then go on to kill Blue Baby and Isaac. Not necessarily in that order. Alright, these bats drive me batty. Yeah, bad pun there. I need some tears up or something like that. I would like to have a little bit more damage, something like a pentagram. Uh, squeezy would be good. Get some uh, spirit hearts and uh, tears up. What else is good? The pact? The pact would be good. Well, that kind of sucks, but that's the benefit of having those black hearts is that uh, if you get hit, you do damage to the enemies on the screen. And I thought things were going to go a lot worse for me there. I'm surprised I only got hit once. And taking out this room is uh, it's kind of one of the easiest rooms in the game. So you just kind of hang back, shoot your tears, back and forth, back and forth. Great thing about this game is that your tears have momentum. Try putting that on a t-shirt. Your tears have momentum. See how that goes for you. What do we got for pills? We have luck down. We have range down. You never seem to have a balance of pills. It's, it seems like you either have really sucky pills or really great pills. Like there's never one where you have like a, a luck down and a health up, or a uh, health down and a range up, or anything like that. It always seems to be luck down, range down, everything in one shot. And then when you're doing good on pills, which uh, doesn't seem to happen as often, you know, you're, you're kind of rolling. You get all the healths up, you get the luck up. Uh, you get all the pills that you would like to have, but uh, it's pretty inconsistent, but that is the nature of the game. You gotta rely on RN Jesus in the Binding of Isaac. Have we gone to our item room yet? No, we have not. So let's make our way down to the item room. How are we doing for time? 614. Probably will not be doing Boss Rush on this particular game. Uh, but we will see what happens. Could end up with some excellent items. Could end up with something where I just kind of clear every room where when I enter it. So we'll see what happens. Uh, we'll have good opportunity for deals with the devil, with uh, Gimpy and my spirit hearts, and my satanic Bible. Of course, uh, things won't be going that great if I keep on taking damage like that. There is options. I want there's options. Uh, if you guys aren't familiar with this game, There's Options gives you a choice. Uh, every time that you beat a boss, you get a item. And if you have the item There's Options, every time you beat a boss, you get a choice of two items. That helps you customize your run a little bit more and gives you a better chance of winning. Alright, here we go. We'll uh, clear out this last room down here. Now, I know the stream title says Road to 999. Uh, and yeah, my overall goal is to get to uh, 999 cents so we can unlock that stopwatch. But sometimes I just want to win. So there we go. That's why I'm only at 350 uh, coins instead of a lot more, despite having this game for. Uh, how long has this been out now? Four months or so? Wow, time flies when you're having fun. One spirit heart, and... Alright, here we go. Guppy, guppy, guppy! Yes, I will take Dead Cat. Which affects me in absolutely no way, since I only have one HP anyway. It's the best time to get Dead Cat, I believe. It's down here. Okay, I'd rather go into my item room. 
notched axe, kind of sucky, so we will roll on, we will fight the boss, and get down to the next floor. So we are on catacombs, I wonder who we are going to fight. Like an easy boss, easy boss, come on, easy boss. Here we go, here we go, we have pestilence, kind of easy, uh... At least I'm going to get a choice. Normally, Pestilence will give you one of the uh, Cuban Meat items. Uh, Cuban Meat's fine. Uh, it's a nice little defensive item, but uh, I'll see what... Uh, since I picked up theirs options, I'll have a choice between Cuban Meat and something else. So, uh, I'll be interested to see what else there is. It's the great thing about theirs options. It lets you customize your run a little bit and kind of tailor things to how they're going. You know, if there's a damage up, definitely going to take this. I would rather uh, tear through rooms a little bit quicker, that's for sure. Come on. There we go. Ball of bandages. I guess we're going to roll with that. I don't really need to speed up, I think. We've already been to the devil room, so let's go down to the next floor. And we have... We have what? We have catacombs. All right, here we go. Let's kill you. Dodging, dodging, dodging. I am like, if I had horns, I would be a dodge ram. Not really. Let's go into this room. Bomb flies. Second time I fought this room this uh, game. Iron Jesus. Uh, not so random today, it seems. Come on. Come on. Explode. 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 There we go. And we will take our charge for our Satanic Bible. I'm not doing that fantastic on hearts, but uh, there is the mark, which is a damage up, which is what I've been looking for. So, uh, oh. Fudge? Yeah. Kind of wasted a half heart there, but uh, for the sake of a rune kind of got to do that since it could be a Jera rune and if you take that down to the chest I uh, get to double your selection of items which is fantastic. Let's uh, destruction this. Uh, oh that was bad dodging on my part. Poor play, poor play. What's this? Range up. It's a pretty good pill. Maybe I was wrong about being uh, stuck with sucky pills for a single run. Can't pick up Liberty Cap, of course, we have uh, the tick, so we are stuck with that. Uh, I'm interested to see uh, a tweet from uh, Ed Mc Edmund McMillan. Well, can't talk today. Uh, the guy who's uh, made the game said uh, over, I think, a hundred new trinkets? That can't be right. Maybe a hundred new items. It was a hundred new items and like 30 or so new trinkets. So we will see uh, what happens with that stuff. Very excited for the... Uh, the expansion pack, uh, Afterbirth, and a uh, clever name, I must say. I can see forever. Love this pill. I'd be able... Well, I got love being able to see into the secret rooms. But I am not happy with my play. I'm not happy with the fact that even though we have Santanic Bible, that uh, my health is so low. But got to live with what you got. Okay, there's a battery. Ah, uh, should I do it? I'm debating blowing up my donation machine so I can get the battery and kind of build up charges for Satanic Bible. I would like to be able to do that. What is in our secret room? Golden poop. Counterfeit penny. Can't pick it up because of the tick again. That's why most players, at least the ones I've seen stream or post YouTube videos, they seem to avoid the tick. Well, that'll give us a little bit of extra HP, uh, assuming that we don't take any uh, red heart damage fighting the hollow, which we normally don't. It's usually pretty good. And I will take the bandage, old bandage, HP up. Let's fill this up, and we'll head down to the next floor. Kind of... I think my odds are like 40-60. Necropolis one. I'm doing okay, but uh, item drops haven't been that fantastic. 
I haven't been able to do much with the shop. I haven't even really, well, I kind of lost money this run, even though my goal, at least I said my goal, was to uh, get to 999 on the uh, donation machine so I can unlock that uh, stopwatch. But uh, anyway, at least we're having fun. We gotta have fun. That's, that's the entire point of playing games. Having fun. And on Twitch, having fun while uh, being on the internet talking to cool people who also enjoy playing video games or watching other people play video games. If you're watching this and I uh, got any questions you want to send to me, I am on Twitter. And uh, Twitter handle is Daily Satire. Uh, of course, my Twitter posts are neither daily and some of them aren't really satire either. I kind of got it called that because I had a uh, ill-conceived uh, idea for a daily satire comic featuring the likeness of me in various poses. Uh, you can tell how well that turned out since I am now doing Twitch streams for fun. Alright, guppy item number two and bombs. We have for pills. Health up is great. Range down, not so great. What do we have in here? We have. Oh, this is terrific. This is terrific. Those two red hearts are. Not red hearts, those two black hearts are a lifesaver. I hate these little maths of infamy. Bugger off somewhere. Yeah, bugger off somewhere. Probably not an expression. Uh, you would use it's kind of a localized thing uh, I live in the province of Newfoundland east coast of Canada that is perfectly a perfectly acceptable uh, turn of prime phrase bugger off somewhere and I have no keys which is bad for getting into the item room and the shop what can we do about that? Can we head into the mob trap room? Or were we already? We were already there. Keys. We are looking for keys. Do you have keys? Please. Keys. Yeah, not really too tore up about my play on this run, taking a lot of damage. I'm also only playing on normal because uh, my objective is ultimately to farm up those coins. A little bit harder to do on uh, the hard mode of the Binding of Isaac. We do have one key, which is great. So I'm uh, just kind of taking it easy, playing on casual. Explains from Rebirth. Nothing to it. Killing some angels. Making some rad dodges. Yeah, I know. People don't see rad anymore. I miss those days when things were rad or mad or glad or whatever the hell we used to say. I remember uh, mad being a uh, kind of a, a local phrase. Uh, people would say things were mad when they were cool. Oh man, that is so mad. And I don't. It, and it was just kind of a, a really localized thing. Like I moved uh, where I'm living right now from somewhere else in the province. And I had never heard Mad used as cool as a turn of phrase before. And it wasn't until I moved here until uh, the kid, I discovered that the uh, local kids were using it at least. And of course, uh, when you move somewhere, you try to fit in, so you adopt, uh, adopt the local turns of phrases and such. Uh, I don't think the kids here use it now, but uh, there you go. A little bit of a, a life story for me. I'm going to go to the item room and little gish. Little gish, okay. Slowing effects are good. I'll take it. I won't, uh, I won't complain. Let's see if we get something. Oh, Blackheart. That was lucky. Alright, uh, what are we going to do now? Let's see if we can find the boss, but the boss, Acropolis 1. There's a chance we could do boss rush, but, uh, I don't know if uh, it's going to be worth doing. We're pretty underpowered, at least I feel underpowered. Unless we get like a a brimstone. Uh, a lot of people would say mom's knife. Not a big fan of mom's knife. I know that 
you know, you kind of got to use it effectively. You got to know how to use it. But I'm a fairly low skill player. So I would rather have just base damage up. What's this? Range down again. Uh, Mask of Infamy. Not fun. Not fun at all. I will try to use a bomb once we get down to just the mask. A little gish. Uh, slowing down the mask, which is uh, great. Oh, there's the bomb. Alright, and uh, Gemini actually coming in there and doing some damage as well. And of course, I walked into him and that helped too. What do we got in our box? We have Temperance. Yeah, this is kind of a, a mean box. 48 hour energy, pretty terrific, all the same. And our health is getting up there now. I, I'm very pleased to see that. Razor, Razor, not so good. All right, here we go. One key, so let's see if we can find the item room before we go to the boss. Before we fight Mom. I remember first starting out playing this, like, killing Mom was such a big deal. Like, oh my god, I'm fighting Mom. Just getting to Mom was a, a big thing. And then, uh, of course, that, that's the great thing about the uh, Binding of Isaac. It scales. So you kill mom and then you get down to the womb and you finally fight it lives. You get that mastered and then you are down to either uh, the uh, what is what's the the devil way? You get the cathedral if you pick up the Polaroid and you get I'm having a brain fart right now. Uh, you pick up the negative and you go down to fight Satan anyway. Haven't yet beat Mega Satan. I've, I've had a couple of close calls. Haven't really had uh, that many runs where I felt confident about uh, destroying the angel statues and uh, going on to fight Mr. Mega Satan. I have unlocked um, Dad's key though, which is good. I think I'm about 19 items away from Golden God. Of course, I haven't done anything with the Lost yet, so I don't have the body, the mind, the spirit, all those uh, all those cool things. And uh, like I said, I'm trying to unlock the stopwatch from the store before I even start with the uh, Lost nonsense. I didn't see those flies. Alright, another room and a curse room. How are we doing for the time? 17? Uh, yeah, I won't, I won't make a rush for Bosch Rush. I can't even say boss ru boss rush. Wow. Harder than you think. Harder than you think to kind of talk. Come up with a, a stream of consciousness and uh, try to be entertaining at the same time. I know I'm not doing the best job of it right now, but yeah, I'm giving it a go. That's what you got to do. You got to try new things. You got to meet new people. You got to kill some spiders. Well, maybe not so much that last thing, but. There you go. Real life spiders, gotta love real life spiders, except for like Black Widow stuff like that. You know, anything potentially poisonous or whatever, but like normal house spiders, you know, they're kind of chilling. They're killing flies, you know. They're making the making the world a, a better place for, for you and I. And then then of course you get go to Australia and you have those big huntsmen which frighten the life out of me. But, uh, yeah, well, I live in North America, like, northern North America, so the spiders here are usually uh, pretty meek, pretty mild. Yeah, all right, well, that item room was uh, pretty lame, my reflection. But uh, there you go, you gotta roll with punches, that sucked. Greed. Yeah, I really didn't do too much with the shop this time, which is kind of... Uh, Kinda of disappointing since my goal is to get to uh, 999 cents, but there we go. All right, let's see if we can fight Mom. Um, I consider my chances now like 30, 36, 30, 70 to actually win the game. 30 being me winning. Uh, not doing that great for damage. Items, kind of, yeah. 
You know, the only thing I really have going for me is having that Satanic Bible. And a great player wouldn't need to rely on the Satanic Bible so much. I mean, I've taken enough damage that, uh, you know, if I didn't take that much damage, uh, I would be full of hearts right now. And we haven't really found anything for a spacebar item of any sort either, so... I don't know. Hoping for a deal with the devil. Uh, kind of sucking on this fight, actually. I remember this fight being so stressful. So much going on. Mom's foot comes down. Frightens the crap out of you. You know, there's minions spying. You gotta try to hit Mom. And, uh, yeah, just, just starting out playing Binding of Isaac. Binding of Isaac. Uh, can be pretty overwhelming. Let's grab the Polaroid. Pop them down to the next floor. And here we go to the next floor. We have Utero, Curse of Darkness. Apologize if you can't see much with this. I'm not sure how my monitor is set up for brightness. Uh, can I do an options? Options, full screen, gamma. Here we go. Gamma? Is that doing anything? Type opacity. Filter, full screen pop ups. No, can't really do anything with the brightness. So if you can't see anything, I apologize. I really do. I'm new to the streaming thing. I know that's not an excuse, but uh, it's just kind of give you a sense of where I'm coming from. I'm just kind of trying this out today, seeing if I can do this, seeing if I can do the stream of consciousness. You know, kind of be a little bit entertaining. And uh, you know, hopefully, I succeed. If you have any suggestions, uh, let me know. Like I said, uh, you can follow me on Twitter, uh, Daily Satire. I don't have a Facebook page or anything set up. Uh, I do do really crappy pixel art, uh, so you might see that on my Twitter page from time to time. I'm talking about living in Newfoundland, all that stuff, you know. Twitter page is kind of, you know, it, it's not set up to be part of the Twitch thing, but it's a good way to get a hold of me if you'd like to. Let's pop the Satanic Bible again, and Ultra Pride, which this fight's entirely pointless. It drops the left hand, but I can't pick it up because I have the tick. Oh man, I am getting some real dumb damage during this game. Not my best showing, that's for sure. Uh, let's see if we can get something from Bum Friends. Two. Well, that was quick. And sacrifice a key to the key gods there. I'd really love to get some more damage, but I don't see that happening. Like, unless there's a uh, superb deal with the demo. Devil. Superb deal with the devil on this floor. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, my, my chances now, I'd say, ooh, yeah, 10. 10%. 10% I'm going to actually win, but that's okay. First time talking while I'm playing this. First time doing the stream thing. There we go. So we got eight more chances. And I don't know if we will be able to do that much with it. Oh, seven more chances. Yeah, this is probably going to be you screaming at me because I'm sucking so much. And losing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're probably saying, oh yeah, you want to do the Lost Day eh? where well, we can't even go through a room. It's kind of like a, a Canadian sarcasm. Oh yeah, hey, you want you want to go doing the Lost, but you know, we uh, can't even go through a, a room without getting hit, eh? That's not how we do things up in Manitoba. I got nothing against people in Manitoba. But uh, that, that, uh, that Canadian accent... Uh, the one that uh, gets stereotyped. Uh, the only person from Canada that I've ever met who actually spoke like that was from Manitoba. And that's not saying everyone from Manitoba speaks like that, but, you know, stereotypes sometimes come from somewhere. Oh, man. Can I bomb my way out? Am I going to waste a bomb here? Maybe. Come on. Come on. Let's do it. All right, looks like I picked the right way to come anyway. 
if I die in this room, it's going to put me back to the other room, isn't it? And that's what's going to happen. Oh my. Yeah, so you're probably going to watch me die like that. Oh, put me back here. Okay, let's see if we can do this room. Yeah, I am uh, I am sucking hard for this run, but like I said, it's, it's the first time for me kind of doing the talking and the playing. With the talking and the playing and the dodging and the uh, got these hairballing, uh, yeah, I'm trying to do my best here. You know what the word well, Maurice reminds me of? It reminds me of uh, Krang from the Ninja Turtles, like the old 1980s. Ninja Turtles ca cartoon. Like I've know there, I know there's been like three different Ninja Turtles series since then, but uh, that was the one that I grew up with. Shredder. I remember having uh, like three or four episodes of the Ninja Turtles on VHS, and I swear they're fighting in a junkyard at one point, and I swear one of the turtles says. Uh, F it as they're jumping. I know it's it's probably not true. It's probably just my uh, childhood imagination and misremembering things. I know that's probably not a, even a word misremembering, but uh, yeah, I remember the, like he jumps and it's like F it. I'm not even quite sure what it was supposed to be. And of course, there's the infamous. Uh, Ninja Turtles game on NES with that uh, BS level with the I, I know I'm not talking as much as I usually do because I'm concentrating on dodging but yeah that uh, level with the dam and trying to defuse the bombs that was BS didn't really like that first Turtles game I had the second game which was called uh, the arcade game on NES I played the hell out of that. Uh, beat it a bunch of times when I was a kid. Uh, can't remember if I'd ever beat it without using the Konami code, because that was from Konami. So you could do the old up, up, down, down, left, right, B, A, like start, was it? Uh, what do we have here? Okay. Here's a good way to... Uh, well, the goal of this video was to top up the donation machine, and here we are. So let's do that. Let's uh, top up our donation machine. See how far we can get. One, two, three. All right. And one more cent. All right. So we've gotten closer to our goal anyway, even if we don't uh, beat Isaac. Uh, I'm not even sure if we're going to beat It Lives, considering how things are going right now. I am due for a satanic Bible charge in a couple rooms. That might give us a shot, but I don't know. I'm, I'm having some pretty poor play here today. Which is, it's kind of standard for me, actually, for the Binding of Isaac. I'm, I'm not the greatest player. But it's a nice little thing to take a half hour Put in an Isaac run, you know, and go on to the rest of your day. Go uh, do some grocery shopping or uh, cook up some soup or, or whatever you have to do, you know. You don't have to play video games all the time. There is that uh, there is that outside game that people keep talking about, but, uh, you know, you got to wear, like, a, a special uh, cream to go out there and, you know, sunscreen and all that stuff. And it's, uh, it's not a fun game if you have allergies, from what I understand. Okay, one more life. All right, let's not run into the spikes. And, oh, well, <laughs> there we go. Well, thank you for watching me if you did watch me. Uh, like I said, you can follow me on Twitter, uh, Daily Satire. Uh, plan to be streaming maybe once a day over the next week or so just to see how things go. I'm looking at picking up a, a mic so uh, that would be a great thing for this as well. So uh, thanks for joining me, and hopefully you enjoyed it. And uh, make sure you leave some feedback as well. I know I do put in those ums and ahs from time to time. I will work on that as well. Take care.